we've gone for Pascal amplifiers. They honestly sound phenomenal. They're really, really high performing uh, amplifiers. Very, very well known in pro PA. They've been doing that a long time. They've got a lot of customers uh, and bulletproof reliability. For us, sound is king. Reliability is massively important. So Pascal was the obvious choice for that. Um, the next step back down the, the chain is the DSP. So we use um, an analog devices uh, DSP, which is 64-bit um, processing. One of the key features of, of Core actually is we don't sample rate convert. So if you're coming in digital and you're coming in at 44.1, then the whole speaker uh, changes its clock and runs at 44.1. So there is no sample rate conversion from end to end. And a lot of uh, competitors make life easy on themselves and they just put a sample rate converter in. And then the DSP is always running at 192, but you've got a convert, you know, a conversion process. It's in the digital domain, but it's still another conversion process. And we wanted to remove that to give the, the purest possible experience, I guess. We support the, the well-used sample rates, um, 32 to 192. And uh, the speaker detects what it's coming in, mutes, reconfigures the entire DSP, and then runs at the, the correct sample rate. Pretty quick, yeah. Uh, maybe half a second or something. So you don't want to be changing sample rates between every track, but in a studio you don't, you know. Most studios maybe change every six months, if that. You know, if you're a movie studio, you'll be running at 48K continuously because that's what everybody runs at. Uh, if you go in analog, we run at 192. It kind of comes down to less is more. So the simpler you can do it, the, the easier everything goes together, the better everything comes together in terms of cancellation if it's out, when it's out of phase, uh, summation when it's in phase. The more the speaker reveals, the, it, and it's not so much that the speaker reveals more, it's the other way around. It's the, all the processing, all the higher order filters, all the missed time aligned drivers, they actually just start adding up and uh, it's error, compounding error, compounding error, which then removes uh, the, the listening image. I, dis I describe my job as like uh, a window cleaner. You know, everything that we do in the audio chain from input to output in the loudspeaker is like adding another pane of glass. And my job is to ask, is that glass, do we need that piece of glass in there? And if it's in there, I need to make sure it's as clean as possible. And that's what happens when we strip everything back, when we clean it all up, you see so much more. You know, if you're trying to look through seven panes of glass and each pane of glass has got uh, a bit of dirt on it, then what you see is blurred and you don't get a sense of depth and precision and detail. And when we take all that away, you ended up with this brilliant vista in front of you.